On this episode of Cigars and Sea Stories, Mike and Bennett are sitting down to talk about campaign covers. Well, and berets, and pith covers, and dress Utility covers, covers and uh, booty yeah. covers, and basically military headgear. Yeah. Well, but, you know, it did kind of start with... So, campaign like, there's a trick. There's, like, a trick to being able to make your cover comfortable. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, when I was a combat marksmanship trainer, when you rate the MOS and you're going to be an instructor billet, you rate wearing a campaign cover, right? And it is a marksmanship cover. You point... Basically, you point the top of it towards the sun, and then it relieves shine on the rear side aperture. And then you soot the front sight. And that's how you clearly line up your sights, you know, old school school style uh but the campaign cover is built in such a way and shipped in such a way to where some parts of it are still flimsy and the other parts that you want to be kind of giving are not so like one of the first things that you do when you pull it out of the box is you take that little plastic it's almost like fishing string it's like a little Mm -hmm. fiber optic cable almost you (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> dude it sucks man because when you wear one you're like what is that what the fuck is that why does that hurt so what you do is you just kind of make a small incision cut away the f- the the back like where it's stitched together pull that little fucking cable thing out of there which it's all the way around so you rip it out of the brim and that's a number one then you take your leather strap that's around the inside of it and you fold it in half It'll have a sweatband inside of there also, but you fold that in half and you tuck it down all the way around. And uh, then you fire out the bathtub and put only about maybe a half an inch of water, maybe an inch. You only want it to go above, not even above your brim. You want it to be basically like on the bottom of your brim and kind of soak into it a little bit. So I would put mine in there for about 20, 30 minutes. It depends. Some people go high and right and they're like, negative, dude. You put it in there for six hours. But you just kind of want it to start to be pliable a little bit. You put it into your cover box, slam that bad boy shut next you scotch guard it, right? Make sure that it's all stiffened up. And then it's like mm-hmm. 35 layers of scotch guard later. And that thing is impregnable to water. Cannot happen. And also the side effect is it stiffens up the brim, which fucking hurts when drill instructors right. slam you right. on the bridge of your nose with it. So right. fuck yeah. It really hurts. It sucks. So, so your your rifle range instructor bullshit, right? <laughs> did they did they issue you guys those pith helmets? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When I was a coach, the, that's the what safari I was. fucking hats. Those things are badass, dude. The range cadres, motherfucking fucking. <laughs> safari hat dude the nicest thing about those covers is it's got a band inside of it it's kind of like a hard hat and that the suspension yeah, yeah. inside of it is is separate it halos your head and so you have airflow if you do it right you have airflow that goes up and underneath of the pith kind of like an right. attic on a house yeah, yeah. and it's uh, it's heavenly so sometimes. so when you're talking about getting doing this episode yeah i looked up the the like the nomenclature the whole fucking thing no and the fact that they so the so the actual hat it's it's the marine corps helmet comma sun comma rigid comma fiber (laughs) yeah right Mm -hmm. or 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 a pith helmet yeah really funny dude They're like, but we they always were you're... badass. I was always like, and then you know, you got like the 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 Marine Corps emblem blazing on the front and the shit, and they were always kind of cool looking. I was like, wow, man, oh, yeah. that's fucking cool. But why why do we need special hats? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you're standing out in the baking sun all day. There's no wearing shade a helmet, on range. wearing a sun rigid fiber helmet. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, there's no shade, right? Yeah, man. So zero, zero percent shade, which I'm sure that there are 29 Palms Marines right now who are like, dude, fuck that. I didn't get a Peth helmet and I was working the range out there. Like, yeah, whatever. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the sunburn. I'm sorry. And that fucking awkward tan line that goes across your temple, right? From an eight point sunglasses. Well, yeah. So is that that or or you got the sunglass fucking one? Lovely idiot. It prevented that. My hands were always tan. Why is your head so fucking white? Right. <laughs> like, man, you look fucking. Ah, uh, shit. That's fucking. I look funny, really dude. weird naked. It's very strange. 
Yeah, the pith cover yeah. is fantastic, dude. And if and on a windy day, every once in a while they blow down range, which is awesome. That's hilarious. Because they're not that heavy. No, they're not. No, they're nice, dude. I'm telling you, they're nice. I enjoyed wearing mine. Right. I still have it somewhere. I think somewhere. Fuck, I hope. Hmm. Somebody Never stomped on the top of mine, and I got fucking pissed. And they were like, no, dude, that's the whole thing. That's like initiation. I'm like, you're fucking stupid, and I'm going to break your nose. Initiate my fist in your ass. Right. Yep. Fuck. He got sack tapped hard, hard. He went down. That's what you get. Don't step on another man's pith cover. It's fucked up. He like Jeez. threw it on the ground and made it happen. It's not like I put it on the deck. That's How many up. different fucking hats did we have to have in the Marine Corps? Let's be honest. Eight point, boonie, uh, and then I had my pith and the campaign cover. It's a four. Yeah, but then you also had your, your Kevlar. Fucking no, but you also had that little. Well, maybe you didn't. What? So you had the green fucking thing that you wore with alphas. Oh, yeah, your piss cover. Piss cover. But then you also had and the your green. garrison cover. The, the green garrison cover. Your dress and then the white cover. dress blues covers. Right, right. Yeah. Which I did not do the interchangeable garrison cover with the nor, pullover. Nor did I add, I add both. Right. But I didn't wear garrison cover. When I was in alphas, I always wore my piss. Yeah, so did I when I think I wore my alphas four times in the fucking whole core. Um, yeah. the piss cover, Jesus Christ. Um, oh yeah, dude. That was yeah, the man. best one yeah. in my opinion. That's what I twisted my easiest, EGA on. Easiest, right? Well, yeah. And you're authorized to junt. He can't. Yeah. A little can't. Dude, we had it. We looked up Marine Corps order. It's like one Papa Charlie one three one three or something like that. And it's the Marine Corps uniform regulations order for specifically um, campaign covers. And you are authorized a jaunty can't. A jaunty, a jaunty cat. Because ja- somebody was like, dude, your campaign. That cat is a little too jaunty, Penny. Right. Let's get a little less jaunt on that can. Dude, you should have seen the picture for it. I was like, wow, jaunty is pretty relaxed in regulation. Right. Jaunty's pretty fucking jaunty. Like, we can, we can kind of wear these however the fuck we want. Pretty much wear that shit sideways. Right. Wear it hanging was, off your fucking ear. I was like, Damn that it. guy looks like an Aussie. That guy, right. like old exactly, school, dude, you know? like that weird fucking Aussie cant. Right. <laughs> Just a jaunty cant, sire. With those, some bloomers on. Those puffy <laughs> pants Stewart. that they used to wear. I looked up Payne Stewart. Anyway, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, man. A jaunty With cant the, is off. A jaunty cant. Which Holy you hell. you match that bad boy up with an in regs mustache. Mm. Jesus Christ! Mm. Just Look horrible. at this red in regs mustache and my jaunty can't. Oh my god! Mm. It's horrible. Take a number, ladies. Look like fucking Hitler. Ugh. Yeah, it was God, funny. We actually, why do guys think that looks good? It doesn't, but that's Never. all we get. That's I mean, it. Fuck, that's, that's it. All so we motherfuckers get. see like, yep, I gotta grow it because I can do it. Let's Why do you grow that fucking hort, that little caterpillar fucking stain on your damn lip? Flavor saver. Well, because I can. Right. Fuck you. It's You look horrible. Awful. Some you, guys can pull it off. Uh, Some God. like Puerto Rican guy no. somewhere is pulling no. that shit off. Yeah, but see, once again, we've talked about this. Right. Mm-hmm. He's We're not going to do it again. The guy's but a cook. it's true. You're right. You're yeah. right. There's there's a few Puerto Rican and black guys that can pull that shit off. And that's about <sighs> it. My red, disgusting, molester mustache right. cannot. Uh, but if you let God. me rock like a solid Fu Manchu, <laughs> forget right. about it. Like a Fu Manchu and a jaunty can't get out of the way. Fucking you know? I'll kill you. I'm clearly in charge of something. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, in Duh. charge. Look at this so it's mustache. like they're sucking the uh, Swedes, man. Right. The Swedes could always wear uh, fucking goatees, right? <laughs> so they'd have like you know, because there's there's some redheads. Oh yeah. yeah there's one guy. He was a uh, I don't know. He was like an E6 equivalent, and they rock around in these like Lav 25 things in Bosnia. Yeah. And he would get out with this epic fucking goatee, oh. you know. And you're just like, and, and but they were berets, and you were like, yeah, what the fuck? So that was one of the worst, most I don't know, dude. The beret and I never got along. Yeah, because I had to wear it, and this is part of the reason that Penny wants to do this episode, folks. 
I'll just let you in on a little clue. Yeah, well, you know, people always ask me, how do you get your campaign cover to, to like, be perfect, right? My campaign cover, it's more comfortable than wearing an eight point because it's just it's like soft around your head and the brain strap that's down there but you can headbutt somebody in the face with it and it hurts yeah I mean, it's like the best of both face. worlds like, ah! so right. yeah um so what are the little tips and tricks to make your beret look badass <laughs> sir Jesus how do you make your Christ. dude how do you make uh, your beret look cool <clears throat> <laughs> you're such a douchebag you- um you you don't so no you would do the same kind of things you would soak it get a wet do like weird stuff to you know starch it fucking then you would like uh you know those lint removers not the oh shit what are they called they're like the brush ones no. no yeah but they had like electric ones so you could like what the fuck is it it's like an electric lint or like uh like felt because you because they're felt just like you know what i mean yeah so you would have to like that always looked better if you did the shave like shave them or whatever you know what i mean yeah i don't remember how the, what the hell was called i had this electric thing it looked like an electric razor and it would get all that fuzzy bullshit off oh yeah you know what i mean yeah. yeah so it was you know so everything was as good as it could be and then it's a matter of getting it down so it I don't know. So it lays a certain way because if you've got like, you know, you don't want to look like a Frenchman. Right. Um, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm Googling this. <laughs> so um, the problem is, is that like everybody in the army has a brain right now. Right. And before it was kind of cool. It was cool before the whole army did it. Thank you, General Shinseki. Um, it was cool before the whole army did it. Where, like, the Rangers were the Black Berets, the Special Forces were the Green Berets. I mean, come on, Green Beret, synonymous with the freaking thing. And then Rangers were Black Berets. And then 82nd Airborne had their, the like, the Raspberry. I, I'm not, I'm going to call it a Raspberry Beret, and I'll probably get death threats for that. <laughs> but that, that maroon colored beret thing that the 82nd wore, right? Yeah. And that was it. Now, the only other mission that I knew of at the time was the multinational force and observers mission. They also were berets and there was army units attached to that. So you would get like, we wore orange berets for, I don't know, a year basically while we were attached to multinational force and observers, right? Like right. a year and a half. <clears throat> um, but then the army went to all black berets. Everybody wore a black beret, except for the 82nd. The Rangers had to switch from the black to the tan berets. And then, you know, green berets still wore green berets. But everybody wore berets. Because, frankly. Why? I I don't know, dude. Why? Why is this Because they thing? Because they want everybody to feel special. But no, it's the only no, thing that I can. No. It's the only thing mean, that I can. Why do people wear berets? I don't know. Fuck, what the I, fuck? What, that, what is the history yeah, of this? Yeah, I no idea. You know what? I gotta Google it. Berets. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It is live. It was live. Live. Live on Google. In the U.S. Armed Forces, the Green Beret may be worn only by soldiers awarded the Special Forces tab. See what I did there? It's like your guy who reads all of the ceremony stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, and now the Marine Corps Band. Now, there are units in the... Now, just just to tell you this, too. Yeah. There are units in the the Air Force that also wear berets, because why wouldn't they? (sighs) Right. Right. Um, so they just started wearing it unofficially by special now, see, forces uniforms. I don't know about the black berets now. I, I don't know, but they say that they wear them for special occasions now. Like, have they gone back to the regular cover? You know, I don't, I don't know. I've been out since 03. So somebody just thought that they were cool and then they started wearing them. Yeah. Right. They, which is the green berets, basically, I think. So then the Air Force also wears they the bright red berets there, which are uh, CAC is the oh uh, shit the fucks are combat air controllers. They mm-hmm. wear red berets. It's yeah. like a scarlet red, like really bright red, right? And then security forces wears a navy blue um, beret. Oh. <laughs> There's uh, uh, Seer instructors wear a sage green beret. I think they still do that. I'm not positive though. But Air Force Seer instructors do. They also do a marine. There's also a 
maroon beret for uh very similar to the um I like the tan 82nd the Rangers that wear. is pair rescue men wear maroon berets. And then there's somebody, I want to say it's tack peas wear black berets in the air force too. But then there's a weird, um, I should look it up really quick. See, that's the thing. Like Rangers wear tan in homage to the buckskin caps worn by Rogers Rangers. I can get behind that. Well, they didn't originally. They I just know. wore they wore black berets for fuck's sake until 2002. I don't know. Uh, 2000, 2001, I think, is when that all happened. Um, and it was, you know, such a big stink because they were like, yep, fuck you either pick a new color or whatever. You know? Yeah. Now, there is a weird beret that somebody, that there's an MOS in the Air Force has. There it is. See, the it's Marine Corps pewter. will never do this. The Marine the pu- Corps it's will a pewter, never wear berets. Pewter berets. Pewter. Now, the pewter is where, yeah. So it's like a gray color. Yeah. And take a guess to who wears that shit. Uh... Think about the Air Force. No, think about the Air Force and think about what they deal with. And then think about, so you've got special forces in the Air Force that basically wear uh, everything from red to, to green, right? Yeah. And then there's a gray one. And it's You're going to shit. Yeah. You're yeah. going to shit when I tell you the MOS oh, is they're, hysterical. They're ra- radar guy. I don't know. It's You're crazy. close, though. Combat weatherman. Shh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. I regret this. I regret this episode. <laughs> this makes no. me want to commit suicide via headbutt uh, with all of these stupid combat, fucking berets. Combat weatherman, uh, baby. Wait, what? Come at me, bro. Combat, with your badass I'm a fucking, beret. Oh my god. I'm a combat weatherman. I'ma fuck you up with some goddamn fucking <laughs> Some road salt. <laughs> Better watch out. Respect <laughs> the pewter, mother. Respect the pewter. I mean, they have actually like they're airborne and the whole thing, dude. Oh, of course they are. They've got a badass freaking uh, symbol or their have, emblem. You know, they don't have like a drag chute. It's a weather balloon. It's like a right. drag line. So, so if you look at their their badge, it's you know it's combat weather weather team on the top with a like a sword in the middle with a parachute. Cross the lightning bolts, and it says airborne. Though so, you know those combat weathermen. This scares me. Hey, it could be a badass MOS. I have no idea. You know, they could be some bad motherfucking truckers. I don't know. Right. I've never met a fucking combat weatherman. I've seen them. That's how I knew there was motherfuckers that wore gray berets. What in the shit? He's not lying, people. I'm watching this right no, now. No, I'm not. I'm it's not, not even like I'm talking and, and, shit. I am talking then, shit on the beret. Yeah, I think it looks But then on top of general. that, not only do they have combat weathermen, right? They have the beret. Air Force Special Operations Weather Technicians. The Gray Beret. This is the thing. The Gray Beret. Yeah. Serving proudly it's, since World War II. It is. Special Operations it is Weather ass. Teams. It is a badass. Hey. I guess you got to know what is going on on the battlefield. I mean, you do. I mean, Think clearly you have to. Like, clearly, that's the but- thing. I mean nothing by your MOS. I, awesome. Why the fuck does everybody wear fucking berets? Why is this a thing? Why is it that, in my opinion, they're not cool at all? There's never been a beret on I mean, a human whole, being's the whole head Egypt, that has like ever French been French Foreign Legion. Whatever. I uh, No. Like, no. Well, then why would I want to look like a Frenchie anyhow? The hell? No. Now, an eight point? That's badass. An eight point is badass. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You see, like, Marine 03, the guys looking to the right, Cami painted up, eight point EGA out front, like, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm hunting. Yeah. That's badass. But, I'll like, tell you what. The it's booty- not badass about an eight point, though. I can tell you what's not badass about an eight point. What's that? Is those gay eight point blue ones that the fucking Navy wears. <laughs> trying to pick up. That are just, come on. They're just blue. They're just blue. Eight but they're points. eight points. Right. Yeah. Like horrible. Like who, who thought that uniform was a good idea? All right. Well, and the whole symbolism behind oh, the eight point and everything. Hold on. Else. Hold on. Let's make digital camouflage, <laughs> but we'll make it blue for the Navy. Oh, it's fucking genius. <laughs> Get it? Blue water, navy, blue digiflage uniforms. It's it's the best idea ever. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I know. That 
Well, and I thought, like, I was pretty jealous of the Navy uniform with the blue and the dungarees. You know, like, I gotta say, they were just kind of walking around in probably the most casual work attire you could get. Yeah, and then they went high work, and right. Dude, dude they took our uniform and they just made it blue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. Oh, my God. Make a blue version for the Navy. <sighs> it's going to be awesome. What the fuck? It'll be awesome. And now they're getting rid of it. What and are they going not to? Like, it's not like SEALs are wearing it. No. Fuck no. They're wearing them <laughs> and <laughs> everything else. They'd rather wear tricolor Who even knows? Shit. They've got 14 different uniforms between the, them anyway. Right. I mean, there's probably like, there's guys that are probably, yeah, there's probably guys still wearing tricolors because oh, they're like, guaranteed. fuck all that other bullshit. Yeah. You know? You've got like three guys that have like tricolors. Another guy's got like, you know, multicam. Another guy's got on, you know, Marine Woodland fucking digiflage. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Fuck. And they all have like operator boots on. They're like wearing whoobies into fucking combat. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, by the way, speaking of whoobies, I bought mine. Oh, nice. Not, not, not. All right. So everyone that, that doesn't know, not a whoobie as in like poncho liner whoobie. Wooby's shoes. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you bought your pair of Wooby's shoes. Beautiful. Just my first pair. Just my first. Because remember, they're my retirement shoes. <laughs> it's part of my retirement uniform. Right. Right? That and a moo-moo. No underpants. <laughs> that and a moo-moo. That and a moo-moo, no underpants. That's how you're no rolling. Underpants. And maybe a boonie yeah. cover. Like a big so, brimmed boonie cover. No, I don't moo-moo. like those big brim ones. Suck. We used to cut the brims down. See, yeah. that's the key. So there we go. And the boonie covers. All right? So Penny doesn't like boonie covers either. Well, and so it, it's not and, that I don't, it's that I don't. Yeah. All right. So we, <laughs> we wore them in recon, obviously, but we always cut our brims in like half. Yeah. So we would cut them down by side and they, either we'd stitch them or burn them. So they would, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because those brims, let's, let's be honest. The brims are a bit ridiculous when it's like a three inch brim it needs to be about a one and one and a half. You know, because you can't see that shit gets wet. It's like, you know, you look like that chick in the ring because oh. <laughs> you got so much. Freaking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like all her hair in front. It, you might as well be like that with the freaking boonie cover on. You can't see shit. So, we had a, so you got to cut the brim down. We had a gunny who had the big one. And then what he did is rolled his brim from the rear to the front. Right. And right. shoved it into his cargo pocket. Jesus Christ. He'd pull that mother trucker out and it would just be like old school campaign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like fucking right. banana wars type shit. Box oh, rebellion. My God. Oh yeah. 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 It was badass. He was Homeboy's a gunny. Like, Homeboy's literally became... like on the shores of Tripoli. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was he was a gunny, left, came back as our battalion gunner. Oh wow. badass dude. Yep. But he has so, that big brim fucking nacho. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't do it. So the 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 uh the boonie cover, um, you know, and then we had to soak it in salt water for a little while and put it out in the sun, you know, get it nice and crusty. Uh yeah. so it would actually like repel weather. Yeah. That shit was no joke, you know? Breaks up the outline real good, get into the freaking hide sites, you could always, you know. Put shit in the brim. We never really did that, but you could, you know. Yeah, it just if you needed to. Pattern. But good stuff. But uh, yeah, man. Now the army cover—that's something to be desired as well. Uh, and and what we would end up doing, at least in the infantry, we would get away with it. Um, but sometimes you'd have a first sergeant that didn't like that shit. But you get what they call like a like a ranger roll on it. Yeah. So you would like pull it. So actually it looked more like an eight point, frankly. Yeah. To an see, extent. I used to do that with my boonie cover. I know what you're talking about. You know, so on you kind of pull it on you top. Push you it down pull on it top. Forward. So it made like a skull Push it down cap. on top. Yeah. Then, right. And, but then what you would do is like pull it forward and the, the front part where you've got like your, you know, the, your unit or whatever the fuck's on the front there. I don't even remember anymore, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Where, where in the Marine Corps, it's the e- e- EGA, you know? Yep. So you would like crimp that down, but that part would be like sticking up. So that would end up happening <laughs> for our for our covers. So it wasn't as bad. Yeah. And and dude, the brim always had to be rolled. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. hardcore rolled. So that thing like came down over your eyes, like 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 a like, like a horse running the Kentucky Derby, dude. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that shit ended up as like blinders. And you could just see out the very bottom yeah. with your peripheral, just in case there was somebody to 
Kama is trying to freaking throat punch you or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which the Marines do the same thing with their A points, you know? To an extent, yeah. Well, yeah. Not not as bad, not as extreme. Because I didn't like curling up my, my cover brim so much as I like to have that eight point nice and high. Like I didn't starch it out, but the brim, like going around, it's not even a brim. It's like that band that goes over top of the ears. You know what I mean? That needed to be nice and flat. That was the yeah. only part that I really ironed so that the top For would sure. stay up nice and popped. And then, you know, I, I grew up in the desert. So it was all, if I could put my sunglasses under the brim, that was perfect. And I bought, you know, black wraparounds that fit underneath of the brim just so but yeah, yeah you pop your pop the top pull your pull your sunglasses off click click that goes in the top of the cover and under your arm sign yep. into the chow hall pull your glasses out one cargo pocket cover in the other cargo pocket unless you're just mm-hmm. like in and out of the building right and you always lay it down on top and your cover is a catch-all for everything yep i would put exactly my, you know i would i would pull shit out of my pockets or whatever you know like keys all right and then yeah pull and drop my, them right in the top of the cover yeah yep. grab that shit on your same way thing. into the chow hall <laughs> same thing. like you're going through the thrift security agency line oh i'm sorry the tsa checkpoint yeah no. yep, yep, yep yeah man dude the eight point was my jam ain't nobody gonna swing me on it i fucking love the eight point it's god's gift there it is buck stops here so i <laughs> now i know for sure if i ever and i'm not really a betting man but if i ever need to make a bet where i know i can beat you i'm gonna bet you a picture with you wearing a beret. Oh, oh, that's it. Uh, oh. So that's I'm gonna wear gonna it. I'm pic- gonna wear it so like like I should be bicycling through the tulips of France. Like that's how I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> you know like, what I mean? It's it gonna down. be all slouchy like, pull it down all the way, style. Pull it down all the way to your ears. Like how many hipsters does it take to screw in a light bulb? It's some obscure number. You've probably never heard of it before. Like that's some of gear number <laughs> slouchy beanie style uh you know with my cardigan and my floral skirt penny i want that fucking penny i want that fucking beret on right now i want it put it on you better match your argyle socks to that fucking beret bitch I just have no idea why this is a thing you know mm. i just don't get it Where i don't know did- either <laughs> Like, why? Like, who was like, oh, dude, that beret is so badass, and now I'm going to wear it out in the field and shit. You get zero protection from it. It does nothing for you. No. Why do you wear yeah, those? So true. No idea. I don't know. I'm going to make it a thing to where you just wear a veil, wherever you go. It'll be like burkas, only with like gaming. A burka. It'll be fine. Right. Right? Give That's us your it. comments. Tell us tell us about the beret and all of your and all of your beret stories. We're gonna be berated with insults. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Ah, uh, you're. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, but like, I'm sure there's somebody else out there who had a campaign cover. There's some drill instructor who will argue the fact that drill instructors had them first, but they didn't. Combat marksmanship instructors did. I'd happily argue with somebody over this. Uh, maybe on social media, you know, or something. I don't know. Click subscribe, then rate and review us. You can find us now on iTunes, Stitcher, Player FM. We're gonna be doing a lot of different things coming up here. We've been building partnerships, leveraging things in different ways. If you're new to the audience, by all means, share it with a friend. Uh, there's a variety of different ways that we could have you on the show. You got to be a veteran. You got to be adding value to a world. And usually, we like having people on who don't mind the word fuck um, because, you know, it's our time. This is a safe space. <laughs> and we say it a lot. It's say a it a fucking space. lot. It's a safe space. It is not. Listen to me. It is. It is not a safe space. Okay, hippie, it is not. We observe the Second Amendment. Anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much for listening to another episode of Cigars and Sea Stories. Bennett, you got anything for our listeners? Yacht. Hour. <sighs> and on that note, we cue the music. Music.